So I've noticed something. Literally every single Fall Guys YouTuber has been doing a no jumping challenge. It all started with Mr. Beast, but then every single Fall Guys creator did it as well. So I wanted to come up with something different. I'm gonna do the exact opposite. And in this video, I have to spam jump the entire time. Now this might sound easy, but trust me, it is not. This is probably the hardest challenge I've ever done. Now the rules are, I have to spam jump the entire time and win a game. I am not allowed to dive. Nope. I am not allowed to ragdoll, and I'm not allowed to fall off the map. I literally just have to keep spam jumping the entire time on every level. Will I be able to win? Well, let's find out. Enjoy. Okay, DoorDash, this is really easy. All I have to do is worry about getting ragdolled at the doors. You know what? I'm actually gonna take my time, and I'm just gonna, like, wait for people to go through the doors. That way I can actually have a clear path through the gates without having to get ragdolled by people. But I also gotta be careful because I don't want to fall too far behind or else I'm gonna die. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard, the, the fact that I can't dive in this challenge. There's a lot of maps where you need to dive. Okay, that's huge. I didn't ragdoll either. And I qualified first. I think DoorDash is the perfect round for this challenge. This is the round that I want to hope for. Luckily, we started off with a very simple level that was very easy for this challenge. However, things were going to get a little bit tricky. Next round is Whirligig. I'm going to completely avoid these fans. Usually, I like to try to purposefully allow them to hit me because they kind of give you a little bit of a boost and launch you forward. But here, oh no, they're just going to ragdoll me, so I'm just going to avoid them. Haven't stopped jumping yet. Bro, this might be the hardest Fall Guys challenge I've done. Like, I can just tell things are gonna get really, really hard. What do I do? Bruh. Okay, I'm just gonna jump here. Okay, that was good. I think I'm gonna make this one. Let's go. Okay, this is kind of hard getting up this ramp while jumping, but we qualified. Let's go. Oh, stomping ground. This is actually kind of bad. This is not a good round to get. I do have a strategy that I could do though. If I stay on the hexagon tiles the entire time, the rhinos can't get me, right? I can get two jumps off of each of these hex tiles. All I gotta do is hope that no one comes to these hex tiles with me. That's gonna be a problem. Okay. Oh my god. That hex tile took a long time to spawn. Oh, that rhino was this close to knocking me off. This strategy seems to be working pretty well so far. No one has came over here yet, so that's good. Here we go. Oh my god, the rhinos are literally right there. Dude, I'm actually gonna qualify. What? Let's go! I honestly didn't think I was gonna make it. How many people are even left? I didn't even see anyone. I think a lot of people died. Two people are left? It's a 1v1. Things were looking good as I made it past the first three rounds and I was going into the final. However, what happened next was very unexpected. Jump Showdown. Some of you are probably thinking that this is the best final to get, but this is actually the worst final to get because I had to spam jump, meaning that I can't time my jumps. This level requires timing. It requires jumping over the bar as soon as it gets to you and like like timing everything properly. So once the bar gets fast, I'm screwed. I have to hope that this guy just dies on his own very early on, or this is a loss for me. No way I just ragdolled. You know what? I'm gonna go into the slime of shame for that. At this point, it was like 2 o'clock a.m. and I had to go to sleep and try again the next day. All right, we're back a day later and I had to put on a hoodie because it is cold, bro. But anyway, let's get back to the challenge. All right, roll on. This should be pretty easy. I mean, this whole level is basically just going forward the entire time. I do have to avoid the gaps, though. That's one thing. Gotcha. We're chilling. Why are you grabbing me? That doesn't matter. Like, yes, he grabbed me, but at the same time, as he was grabbing me, I continue to jump. If you look closely, I was jumping as he was grabbing me. I just had to rapidly jump. So that counts. First round, I completed. Oh, dude, tiptoe. How did I get tiptoe second round? This could be easy because it's like a straight path and I'm just jumping. I could easily have someone bump into me and I'll ragdoll and fall off. So not gonna lie, I'm gonna try to stay away from the crowd. Even if I'm behind people, that's honestly fine. I don't know. What if I try jumping on their heads? Okay, that kind of works. Come on, bro. Find the path, man. Oh, Wait, I think they're about to find it. Yo, where is this path? Okay, wait, wait. No, it's gonna be this way. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, what? Oh my God, dude, I thought I was gonna fall. I literally have no idea how I managed to qualify there. If you look closely, I literally missed the finish line and it looks like I was falling to my death, but somehow I hit the hitbox of the finish line and managed to qualify. Yo, we're in the final. Okay, this is the farthest I've gotten. I gotta complete it here. A three round game too. I'm glad that I'm, I might actually be able to complete it. This is probably the best final to get for this challenge because you can easily just constantly jump. Like that has no problem here. Sometimes I guess I make dives, which I'm not allowed to do in this challenge. I don't really need to. I'm chilling. So I gotta be careful if someone throws a blast ball at me. Dude, this is intense. Five people are dead already. Dude, I think I'm gonna actually complete it here. 
Oh no, the blast ball. Dude, the blast ball is like right there. The blast ball is literally right there. Dude, I gotta watch out for these blast balls. Five people are dead. Only two more people need to die. And then the challenge is completed. Bro, I gotta stay away from those guys. They're scaring me. Oh my God, six out of seven. Come on. Only one more person needs to die? Just die already, come on. The slime is lukewarm, it's ready for you. Go take a bath, bro, you stink. Go jump in the slime, you, you stink, bro. You stink. No! Are you kidding me? Bro, that was genuine anger that you just heard right there. I was infuriated at this moment. I had been doing this challenge for hours and made it to the final and then messed it up. However, whenever I do one of these challenges, I nope. never give up. So we kept going. All right, Dizzy Heights. Come on, we got this this time. Can't fail like last time, dude. All right, we're doing well. One thing you gotta watch out for is these balls, bro. These balls, man, they're so annoying. I just like to jump into the compartments and wait there. What? That ball launched twice super fast. Okay, going up ramps is the annoying thing. Here we go. I'm actually gonna try to, oh. All right, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Nope. No, we're not, no, we're not. Don't ragdoll. Oh, how did I not ragdoll? Okay, another ramp, that's great. There's a lot of ramps in this level, which I'm not a huge fan of. Oh, don't get hit by these balls. Don't get hit by these balls. Oh, how am I not gonna ragdoll here? This is ragdoll city. I don't know how I'm not gonna ragdoll here. Oh no, this ball, this ball. No, do not ragdoll me, you're dumb. After that fail, there were many, many more to come. Here's a montage of some of my fails during this challenge. There's a lot of places I can ragdoll though, so I gotta be careful. Bro, this is, this is tight. Okay, doing well. Bruh. Bro, why? Why, man? That was so I gotta watch out for these things too. Oh, why did I put myself in that position? I'm on a ramp now and I can't move all right now that you've seen my pain let's get back to the progress oh seesaw okay this is interesting as long as i stay up front ahead of everyone this level will be really easy i think so i am ahead right now i gotta maintain this lead and then i'm good spam jumping actually makes the seesaws tilt less so i always spam jump on this level anyway so this isn't like even really a challenge on this level honestly i take it back doordash is not the easiest level for this challenge seesaw is this is the easiest level to do in this challenge all right thunder on second round this time so like like I usually do. I'm just gonna take the hexagon tiles, spam jump on these. There we go. Very good, very nice. I don't really seem to ragdoll at all on this part. I would assume that I would be ragdolling a lot on this hex tile part because it's kind of weird. How did I not get hit by that strawberry? I'm not even gonna go on that part. I'm literally just gonna jump down. Wait, can I? Oh no, I'm gonna ragdoll. Oh, no, I didn't ragdoll. I almost did. Like my bean was kind of like flopping over, but no, I didn't ragdoll. Okay, I made it past that first wall. It's gonna be hard to get up this ramp. Oh, this was a dumb idea. This was a dumb idea, wasn't it? Oh wait, no, I'm making it up. I might be too far behind though. I don't know. Okay, this was a dumb idea. Oh no, I ragdolled. I was so tempted to call it quits here and start again tomorrow, but I kept going anyway. All right, seesaw again. This time I spawn in the front. So as long as I stay ahead, I will be fine. Okay, is there anyone coming up close to me? Not really, I'm good. How? How did I not ragdoll? I got really lucky there. I think I'm gonna make it. Let's go. I made it. Oh, Dizzy Heights for the second round, dude. Dizzy Heights has been giving me pain in this challenge. I think I did qualify once. I gotta be careful, man. I just gotta be careful. I, I'm not even gonna try to rush to the end. I'm just gonna take my time. Priority is being careful. Now, a lot of the time when I make this jump right here, I ragdoll. So I'm gonna just be like really careful here. Don't ragdoll. Oh my God, okay. Okay, I didn't ragdoll, but now I gotta watch out for these balls and that's gonna be a real problem. Oh, please, please, no balls hit me. Please, please, please. Yes! Finally, I qualified on Dizzy Heights with this challenge, bro. I had gotten Dizzy Heights multiple times during this challenge and failed brutally every single time. So qualifying here was so satisfying for me. Oh, Hexagon. Okay, we got Hexaterrestrial last time we made it to the final. So this is basically the same. I mean, Hexagon's like very similar to Hexaterrestrial and I got really close last time. I got really close last time. Gotta make sure I'm constantly jumping on the platforms. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be kind of hard though. I mean, I can get two jumps off of each tile, but you gotta time it right. I don't know, it's not that slow. Oh, this is weird doing this strategy. I don't know, playing hexagon like this is so weird. Yeah, you can get two jumps off of each hex tile, but it's difficult. Like sometimes if you time it too slow, 
You'll fall on the second jump. Oh, four people are dead already. Yo, this could actually be the game. I just gotta be really careful. Bro, I'm like sweating. I'm sweating right now. I'm just gonna drop. I can't make that jump without diving. This lobby's really bad. I might get it. Nine people are dead. Come on. Come on, please let this be the one. Please let this be the one. Come on, I've been at this challenge for hours. Please. Please. I've been at this challenge for hours, bro. Please. I think the last guy's on the, on the bottom layer. Let's go! Finally, dude. Dude. Oh my god, bro. Guys, this is the longest challenge I've ever done. I, I've been recording for three hours, bro. Like three, almost four. I've been recording for almost four hours doing this. Oh my god, bro. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.